Alright, so my very first video for this channel, I want to show you how to make something that I use in a lot of my projects. And it's these little tiny eyes. Hopefully we can film them all right, but um, I use these for all kinds of different things. I'll show you just a couple of things that I've made with these. And please do comment if these are things you want me to show you how to make. Let me grab the wrong box. So first off, the next video I'm going to make is going to be on making these little apothecary jars with eyeballs in them. Let's see if I can get that to show up properly. There we go. And I've made uh, two different little jars, and you just make these with um, Jars that you get at the dollar store that usually have glitter in them, but anywhere you can get little jars is fine. Um, these are another thing I used to make. I'll be making this as well. This is uh, spaghetti and eyeballs, which is delicious in your uh, dollhouse. <laughs> I've also made... Um, you know what, I think I'll save some of these for the next video, but you get the idea. I use them in any kind of horror-themed dollhouse item. So let's get started. And today I'm going to show you how to make some miniature eyes. And Lots of my projects will include these, which is why I'm starting with this. You can also use these in any miniature dolls that you make, and you can bake these as well if you use glass head pins. So if you want to bake your projects, use glass head pins. If you're not going to bake any of them, you can use the plastic head quilting pins, which right now I cannot find anywhere, but I do have some but I wanted to show what was actually available now just in case because things are changing so much on a daily basis um, I got these little guys from Michaels and these are glass so these are bakeable um, what else you're gonna need is a piece of foam or a piece of cardboard something you can stick the pins into I've just got a little sanding block and then a little piece of foam that I found you're also going to need um, paint, acrylic paint. I'm just going to do blue and green. This is an iridescent blue. I got this off Amazon. Any kind of craft paint will work. It doesn't have to be any of these brands. This is Liquitex acrylic color. This is like a lower, lower quality art paint. Um, but any of the craft deco art paints, any of that will work. It doesn't have to be any special paint. You're also going to need some kind of little dotting tool. You don't have to have these. If you don't have any, I'm going to show you another way to do it. You can actually um, do this with one of the pins instead. It's just a little more difficult, but if you don't have a tool, instead of purchasing a tool, you can just use a pin. These, are, these do make things a little easier. So I'm going to zoom in on this, but first thing I'm going to do is poke a bunch of these pin heads into the foam. And if you want to make some uh, different colored ones, you can use different colored bases. They do sell the plastic head quilt pins on Amazon, although they seem a little pricey to me. I definitely check out your local fabric stores. They will likely have them for a better price. And I'm just going to zoom this in and I'll be back. All right, so I hope this is zoomed in enough that you guys can see what I'm doing. And actually, I'll start this off with just using one of the one of the pins. 
this is just a pin out of their out of the uh, box so what I've done is I've just um, put some of the blue acrylic paint and some of the green acrylic paint onto my little just a little lid just makes it easier and I'm just gonna dab the paint in just dab that in you don't want too much on there And then you're just gonna very carefully just dab that onto the eye, onto your pin, and that's gonna be the colored spot on your eye, the iris. You wanna try to get that as even as you can. If you can just do one drop, that's the best way to do it. So you just go right in do one drop just like that so you can see how it's more uniform than me blobbing it on here and there just like that we'll do some of the green and you can mix up paint whatever you want to do to make whatever color of eye you want You can have quite enough paint on there. You've got to make sure you have just the right amount of paint. Otherwise, if you don't have enough, you end up doing what I'm doing, which is dabbing it too much. And if you dab it too much, it tends to make the iris uneven. Now, for some of the projects that I'm going to be making, it doesn't really matter if the eyes are perfect. So if you have some um, blem eyes or blemished eyes, ones that aren't perfect, They'll work fine for some of these projects but if you're doing this for one of your art dolls or a miniature doll you definitely want your eyes to be perfect And I've got a couple black eyes here. I think I'll leave these for now, but if you want to make a fantasy type eye, these work well as well. So I'm going to let these dry, and then once they're dry, I'll be back to do the pupils. It's pretty easy to do these. Pretty much anyone can do this if you have a steady hand at least. Hope you can see that all right. There you go, we're going to let these dry and then I'll be back. Alright, so I decided to come back quickly and just uh, do these black eyes in uh, yellow paint. So kind of like vampire wolfy eyes. And I'm just going to use my little cake tool to do this. This paint isn't the best, but it'll work. Okay, and I'll just wait for these to dry and I'll be back. All right, and now we're back again and we're going to do the pupils. So um, you can either use just a, a little dotting tool or if you don't have one of these, you can just use a pin. Again, just the same ball head of the pin. All right, so all I'm going to do, same thing. Um, I've got black acrylic paint on my little palette. I'm just going to dip the little needle into it or the end of the pin head. Do make sure your paint is kind of liquidy enough, otherwise this doesn't work as well. And I'm just going to have to hold this up a little bit. This part's the hard part. I'm just trying to make sure I'm focused here as well. That's it. Just dot it right on there. Quick 
full dot. And if you do mess them up, you can um, wipe them off and try again. It is a little bit of practice doing this. I've done hundreds of these. I still have issues with them. <laughs> so if you mess them up, don't be too hard on yourself. Just wipe them off. Try again. There you go. And now you just wait until they're dry and you have a glass eye you can use. Um, if you don't have acrylic paint, you can also use nail polish. I know a lot of people have a lot of different nail polishes. If you do use, say, a gel polish, you can cure it under your black light and then you won't have to wait. That's another way you can do these as well. I don't know about baking gel polish in the oven though, so I'd maybe do a test on that before you do something like that. But if you're just using these in um, non-baking crafts, you're fine using it for that. And if you want your eyes to be a little more macabre and a little more Halloween-like, you can paint the base of the pin with some red acrylic paint, as I did here, and you can put some on the eye as well. These really make a great addition to any Halloween-type project that you're doing for miniatures. I hope that was informative. And please get ready for the next video, which I'll be releasing very soon, featuring these little guys. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help build the channel. And thanks so much for watching.